Hello wondrous soul friends! Welcome to my channel, Madame DeVoe. Thank you so much for tuning in and for allowing me into your unique experience today. Today we're going to talk about conscious beauty and how to manifest your most gorgeous version so you can live a life full of confidence and self-love. I have been wanting to make this vlog so bad. This is one of my absolute favorite topics. So we'll kind of run over what conscious beauty means and some natural methods of maintaining a conscious beauty routine by incorporating energy work. So what what is conscious beauty and why should someone incorporate more conscious practices into their beauty regime? Part of raising your awareness is to be mindful of the things that you're putting onto or into your body. And this applies to cosmetics too. Throughout history, we've seen humans put some extremely harmful things onto their bodies in an attempt to be seen as more desirable. Even today, there are loads of ingredients that are harsh on our bodies but are still seen in mainstream products. Conscious beauty is to focus on treatment that supports longevity of the outer appearance versus treatments that only look good now and in the long term can be deteriorating or even dangerous. It is understanding that the human appearance is an art form with much variety. The idea of beauty is merely a matter of personal preference, although there is one thing that humans tend to collectively find attractive and that's health, particularly in the realms of oxidative stress and antioxidants. People who have the lowest amounts of oxidative stress are typically seen as more attractive, and this also applies in utero. Fetuses that are grown in a calm environment are more likely to develop symmetrical features, which is also something that humans find attractive. So the first step to becoming more mindfully attractive is to keep your stress levels as low as possible. Some stress is necessary in order to maintain balance, but many things in our society are specifically designed to create a stress response. Regular meditation and self-reassurance can really combat this. Surrendering to the will of life and being in the flow can also help you lower stress levels because it decreases the amount of resistance that is created due to a constant need for control. Frequent exercise and the consumption of high vibrational alkaline foods can also reduce stress levels and really help you mold your body in a way that is flattering to your figure. The health of your gut is a massive contributor to your outward appearance. Being conscious of what is going not just onto your body but into your body can really help you glow from the inside out. Next step to conscious beauty is to be mindful of the products that you're putting onto your skin, in your hair, on your nails, and other parts of your body. There is a rise of conscious brands that are working to actively better the beauty industry through transparency and environmentalist efforts. Supporting them is one of the ways that you can remain fully aware of what you're putting onto your body. So I'm gonna go ahead and discuss a little bit about the products that I use for my skin because there have been so many people that have asked me to talk about this and I feel like this is the perfect opportunity. So the first product I'm going to talk about is this Origins Checks and Balances Frothy Face Wash. I'm not sure if it's focusing. I like this face wash because it really does clean my skin. I feel like it really gets in there and cleans out all of the gunk, all of the dirt, the makeup, whatever it is that I'm trying to get off of my face. The only thing is it's not the most gentle on your skin, especially if you already struggle with dry skin like myself. Um, this is actually quite drying. I'm actually gonna go back to their antioxidant white tea cleanser after this because I find that's a little bit gentler on my skin, whereas this one is very, very drying. If you already struggle with oily skin, this might be, you know, the way for you to go because it does have oil control. It says that on the back. They list their ingredients, you know, they also have all of their ingredients listed on their website. They're very transparent about what they're putting into their product. Uh, I personally love Origins as a brand, as a collective brand, it's really, really wonderful. They also are super duper generous with their samples, so that's always a plus. I got some samples here to show you guys. You know, this is a lotion, a body cream, um, this one is a hand cream for anti-aging. I think this is perfect because the two places that wrinkle the fastest and need the most SPF is actually your hands and your face. So I love that they have this because I think it's actually um, part of conscious living is to be mindful of your hands and your face, you know, when you're going outside because those things are the most exposed to the sun. But these are such big samples. I also love them because they are extremely environmentally conscious. It says here on their website that all of their packaging comes from responsibly managed forest and 55% of their packaging by weight is recyclable, refillable, reusable, recycled, or recoverable. And by 2023, their goal is to ensure that at least 80% of packaging by weight is recyclable, refillable, reusable, 
uh, recycled or recoverable. I love that they're conscious about their manufacturing. I love that they're conscious about the things that they're putting into their product. It's just, it really is a forward focus brand and I love that. The next brand I'm gonna talk about is No BS Skincare and I'm super excited to share them with you guys. Um, so these guys are a super conscious skincare brand. They are essentially taking the BS out of the beauty industry because you see a lot of these products that are so-called miracle products when they actually have a lot of harmful chemicals in them. So on the No BS website it states, the FDA bans 11 toxic and harmful ingredients ingredients from skincare. We've banned 1,500 from ours. On top of that, they're also a super sustainable company and they even have a page on their website that talks about how you can recycle their products um, and how you can consciously dispose of their containers and all of that stuff. One thing that's so unique and I just love about this brand as a collective is the fact that they empower people through knowledge. And I think that's something that's so important but you never see it with skincare brands. These people are so transparent to the point where they're educating you about what a humectant is, what an emollient is, what SPF is, and I think that's super duper important to maintaining a conscious beauty routine, being aware of the components that are going into the formulation of your skincare products. Um, it's just super duper important and I've never seen that with any other brand before and that's one of the things I just absolutely adore about this brand. So getting into the products that I use by them, the first one is this vitamin C and E serum. It's packed with antioxidants, it's got pomegranate, it's got green tea, it's got hyaluronic acid. It makes your skin super duper supple. I love it so much because it tightens the skin, especially immediately after you put it on. It really does tighten your skin and it makes it look so youthful and fresh. I, I love putting this on and I love how my skin looks with it to be completely honest. It's a really lightweight serum. It's not super heavy so I love that too because I personally don't really like heavy products and it really just gives my skin a healthy glow. Like I can't even explain it. It just it's so amazing what a product can do to your skin immediately after putting it on. And the long-term effects are really nice too. It evens out skin tone, it reduces scarring, it reduces signs of aging, it prevents aging. And one thing that I struggle with is discoloration of my face because I tan very easily. So whenever I exfoliate, my skin becomes very patchy in skin tone. So I find that this serum actually really balances out my skin tone a lot. Um, I really really love it. I have no complaints so far. Once I've applied the serum I like to follow up with this antioxidant coenzyme Q10 cream and this cream is super duper lightweight because it is made with jojoba oil Which is super duper light. I don't like heavy oils on my skin oils that feel greasy um, Even moisturizers in general that feel super duper greasy. I'm very opposed to so this is very very lightweight Even though I do struggle with dry skin. I find that this does more moisturize my skin perfectly without creating that extra residue that a lot of those other moisturizers, particularly the heavy ones, leave onto your skin after application. I really appreciate the emphasis on preventative maintenance. That's something that's so important for a conscious beauty routine. Going back to what I was saying earlier, focusing on treatments that promote longevity of the outer appearance, and this brand does just that. To be completely honest, I'm so pleased with these products that I'm even tempted to get their facial cleanser because it claims to be very gentle on the skin and that's something that I really need. Please note that everyone's body is unique and what works for me may or may not work for you. This is why I highly suggest you do your own research. Part of being conscious is to know exactly what your skin needs, so you may want to visit a dermatologist or a licensed esthetician to see what products will benefit you the most. Now let's talk about energy work and its contribution to your physical beauty. I personally feel that energy plays more of a role into someone's overall attractiveness, even more than looks do. I'm sure you've met people who are just rotten and mean-spirited. Even if they meet the conventional standards of beauty, many people still see them as unattractive. This is because energy is the basis to everything, including how others see us. So focusing on your energetic health can make others perceive you as beautiful. I've found affirmations to help me so much in my conscious beauty routine. Literally telling your body what you wish for it to have is a great way to manifest what you desire. This can be clearer skin, 
skin or healthier hair or maybe weight gain or weight loss. Visualization is an effective conscious beauty practice too. You can spend some time creatively visualizing yourself with traits that you wish to manifest. If you have a hard time creating the perfect picture in your mind, you can also use a vision board. Here are a couple of techniques that can help you boost your energetic and physical beauty. If you wish to have stronger hair, mix a few drops of grapeseed oil with one drop of tea tree oil and one drop of eucalyptus essential oil. Rub your hands together and visualize energy being activated in your hands. This can be a golden light or a rainbow light. Take the oil and spread it around the shaft and ends of your hair. You can also massage it into the scalp, but my scalp is already pretty oily, so I personally avoid that area. Whilst doing this, you can visualize the energy from your hands penetrating your hair strands and locking in the moisture. In your head or aloud, you can recite the following. My hair shall grow like finest weeds, my energy serving as little seeds. It will grow stronger for all to see. This is my will, so mote it be. Try to do this practice regularly. Once a week is what works for me. Next, when you're washing your face, repeat the phrase, my skin is radiant and free of flaws. It glistens with health so perfectly glossed. I also like to visualize love and appreciation energy traveling through my fingertips and into my face as I'm massaging the cleanser into my skin. When I'm working out, I like to visualize my bones, joints, and muscles as being protected and strong so that I can enjoy the results of my hard work free of pain and injury. I like to repeat to myself, I am strong and capable to help me push through intense workouts. Before I eat any meal, I always send gratitude to my food for keeping my body healthy and beautiful. And lastly, I frequently remind myself that I am beautiful as I am. This is the most important thing you can do to manifest physical attractiveness. Loving yourself and your body no matter what you look like can really help speed up the manifestation process. Self-love is radiant and it amplifies one's beauty. And yes, you can love yourself as you are while still wanting to improve and become your best and healthiest version. That, in fact, is the ultimate form of self-love. I now challenge you for the next 21 days to write down one thing that you love about yourself every single day. This will get you into the habit of looking for traits that empower you rather than traits that make you feel insecure. Check out my website in the description box below for a free printable sheet that will help you stay consistent throughout the three weeks. But that is the conclusion of this vlog. Please Please like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment letting me know what makes you beautiful. Thank you so much for watching and have a lovely rest of your day. Bye bye.